might want to pause the video, reread the problem before listening on. We have some uncharged capacitors, at least initially uncharged, each of which has a capacitance of 25 microfarads, and then a potential difference of 4200 volts is established when the switch is closed. We need to figure out how many coulombs of charge pass through meter A. So once that switch is closed, then charge will begin to flow to the capacitors, and if we wait a few moments, the capacitors will reach a maximum amount of charge. We have to figure out, well, what is that maximum amount of charge? Because that's how much charge is going to be flowing through the ammeter. And to do that, we can notice that these three capacitors are arranged in parallel. And so what we can do is we can combine these three parallel capacitors into a single equivalent capacitor. And let's see how we can do that. We can see from this expression here that when you have a certain number of capacitors in parallel, then you can get the equivalent capacitance by simply summing the individual capacitance values. So in this case, we have three capacitors, each of which is 25 microfarads. So we're just gonna add 25 microfarads three times, or alternatively, we can multiply three by 25 microfarads. So if we do this, we get a capacitor whose equivalent capacitance is 75 microfarads. Now microfarads would be times 10 to the minus sixth farads. So that would be our equivalent capacitance. And once you calculate that, you can actually redraw the circuit so that you would have just that single equivalent capacitor. Now that we have redrawn the circuit, we've obtained the equivalent capacitance value, we can calculate how much charge passes through the ammeter because we know the following relationship between charge capacitance and potential difference. It is given by this equation here. So it's very simple at this point. We just take the capacitance value of 75 times 10 to the minus 6th farads and then multiply that by the given potential difference supplied by this external potential source, which was 4,200 volts. And when you multiply those two values together, you will get 0 0.26, no, hold on a second, I'm sorry, 315. I was looking at the wrong number on my calculator. So 0 0.315, and then the standard unit of charge would be in coulombs. So this would be the correct answer to the question.